What is up guys, H Masses here today doing another LEGO Nexo Knights Battlesuit review, this time on Battlesuit Lance. This is item number 70366, H's are 7 to 14, and there are 83 pieces. On the front of the box, you can see Battlesuit Lance, and you can see that there are 5 Nexo powers included in the set. On the back of the box, just like all the other Battlesuits, you can see how to put Lance in the Battlesuit and you can see how to scan the Nexo powers into the game. Fully complete Battlesuit Lance is a very kind of small thing. Now that is to be expected because you know this is a mech which is trying to be a little bit the scale to a minifigure as you can see. The way this mech actually works here is that there's this little kind of like contraption in the front which is a new mold for 2017 and what you do is you pull this down and then you can see how Lance goes inside he just sits inside like this and you know it is a little bit cool and then you know this can just easily move back up like this you can also see on the front of the torso Lance's sort of symbol which you'll see on his minifigure taking a look at the legs on battle suit Lance you can see that there are these two little orange sort of spike pieces which were introduced for Nexo Knights last year you can move a little bit to the side and you can still see, you know, a little bit of details. You can see that his feet are actually fully technically built up and that they are actually kind of like roller skates. So, you know, you can move them around like this very simply. And that offers a little bit of playability to the set and does uh, differentiate him from the other battle suits. However, you know, that can be annoying for some people because then, you know, his ability to stand on one place is a little bit hindered. However, if you just kind of move these two pieces together if you move them as tight as you can you should be able to prevent the wheels from moving very easily at least so you will be able to kind of prevent that from happening there's also these two little brown pins on the side which are completely out of place with everything else in the set which will annoy some people and then also in the legs you get all full articulation you know you can move the feet all the way back like this so if you wanted to you could do this sort of thing you know the ankles you can move side to side like this nothing too crazy the legs can move to the side move them all the way back like this up until it hits the actual battle suit and then you can move them forward as well his arms are constructed very similar to the rest of the battle suits they pretty much all have this sort of thing where you see that they attach to this technic piece which if you look all the way on the back you can see how that's connected to this piece with the two um, Technic pins sticking out. They just all connect to this little tiny, again, Technic piece here to the actual CCBS hand piece. And that's how every single one of these arms is attacked, is attached. But you can see, you know, he has a little bit of uniqueness, which these kind of more dramatically slope, not a smooth slope, but it just goes straight down. And then he has these flag pieces, which you can adjust and pose around if you want to. So, you know, you can move them all the way back like this. You could have them sticking forward, or you could just have them all the way straight up like this. However, I prefer to have them angled. Taking a look at Lance's Lance, you can see it's pretty much fully transparent from, you know, this entire Lance part all the way up to the tip here. And it's just a very small, simple design. It works out very nice. This is, you know, adjustable. You can move it like this if you wanted to. You can move it here if you want this gray piece at the front. And, you know, you can just have it like this. You know, there is a little bit of adjustability to that. And, yeah, there also is an extra one of this specific lands piece included in the set. You get a pretty good amount of posability with arms being able to move them up and down like so. And you can also move them side to side. However, you cannot move them up like this much farther past here. If you want to move it farther past that, what you have to do is just move the arm to the side like this. And that's pretty much as far as you're going to get, which is unfortunate because personally, I would rather have the ability to move the arms up kind of like in this direction versus being able to slash like this because all of these battle suits actually have waist articulation. And with the waist articulation, you're able to slash already. So I would have rather been able, instead of slashing like this, to have this ability to slash like this. It would have just been easier, at least in my opinion. You know, it would have made it better if you could raise the arms up like this but you can't which is unfortunate all of the battle suits come with this new shield piece which actually attaches three nexo powers which i'll be going over shortly but you can see the way it moves here you can you can you know rotate it like this 
you can move it to the side you can see the piece that it's attached on which allows all that rotation so you know if you wanted to you can move the arm like this and if you want a specific nexo power you know kind of straight out here you can just move it like that and that will give you the option if you want to move to the red one you can do that go to the green one you know you get all the you get all these nice options here and it's just a relatively nice piece and you know if you get some of those collectible nexo power packs you'll be able to get more which you can again and then add to your battle suit on the back of each of the battle suits there's this orange clip here so what you can do is if you have pretty much any of the nexo knights of vehicles from 2017 what you can do is attach one of the separate flyers here in this case the one from clay's falcon fighter blaster and you can get a powered up battle suit now for lance's case lance's twin jouster is going to be the best set that you can use through this however if you have say clay's falcon fighter blaster or Aaron stone destroyer it will still work and it'll be just as good although you know lance's twin jouster will work the best because obviously that is meant to be for lance there is only one minifigure included in this set, however, it is an exclusive version of Lance which you can't get in any other sets. So taking a quick look at it, first thing you can see here is just like all of the other versions of Lance, his visor is adjustable so you can get a better look at his face. And the actual Lance figure itself from the front is pretty good, there's actually a lot of nice prints in there and actually it gives me a more kind of regal vibe from this particular version of Lance. On the back, we want to again get some nice sort of regal-like printing of Lance, and if you remove his helmet, you can see an alternate winking face. The five Nexo powers in this set are as follows, Diamond Spear, Silver Pegasus, Standing Ovation, Whirlwind, and Dynamite. So yeah, Battlesuit Lance, it's a pretty good set. You get a lot of actual, you know, good playability with the set despite that it's such a small $10 set. The 5 Nexo powers, if you play the app, that's going to be something that's really, really good to have. However, if you don't play the app, you know, they are still nice pieces to have, but you aren't going to get as much value out of those. The ability to combine your powers and combine with other vehicles is nice. But, you know, you do have to have another vehicle, but just, you know, it gives you a little bit extra value to it because, you know, it sort of improves the idea of getting the other vehicles because you get extra playability with that. The battle suit itself, there's lots of articulation, there's lots you can do. The roller skate sort of feet aren't going to be for everyone, but for a kid, I can see them having a lot of fun just rolling Lance around, like going high speed about to joust against say you know some sort of stone monster there's just a lot of fun that can be had with this set yeah that's pretty much it i hope you guys enjoyed till next time i'll see you guys later